Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thank you for tuning into this video. Today I want to talk about my favorite subject around precious metals and why it has so much potential, specifically silver. Now, when we talk about supply and demand, silver supply has been being cut back by the hundreds of millions of ounces. We all know this. Miners have been abandoning silver mines, focusing on gold, lead, and zinc. And silver, the production of it, even on a global scale, has really been to a shortage. A, a very, a very drastic shortage has been, you know, looming in the past several years. And to what extent, and what, you know, what amount of this? is going to be recovered over the next couple of years because demand is going to keep rising. There's no doubt in my mind that especially once the 2020 presidential election happens, as silver gains more momentum, more popularity, as media starts to cover it, new investors, new money is going to be coming into this, especially from all of these several other influences and factors, situations that are happening economically, industrially, or even technologically. Demand is going to be rising. I mean, that's there's no doubt in my mind. So we know that the, if the demand's high and the supply can't meet that, then this is going to cause astronomical prices to be fluctuating for the better. I mean, look at just with something as simple as the U.S.-China trade negotiations, how high that could push prices almost to the $20 range. So what's going to happen when prices are at that rate, but then people can't even purchase or be able to or these these companies or even the miners aren't even be able to produce enough silver to meet the demand we know that low low supply high demand will shoot the price up and surplus will be and is to this day historically even one of the biggest motivators and influences for something to move for the better now these miners need to get on their game and start realizing where silver is headed and the demand. I mean, production has been being cut back literally by the hundreds of millions of ounces because there's no profit in silver for them. But they're not realizing how this is going to be affecting the economy. They're not realizing the, the consequences that are at stake. I mean, silver is used in so many different things on a worldwide, on a global scale. And this demand isn't just coming from the richer countries. It's not just just coming from US and China we're talking about you know every every country is used silver to a, a very large scale you know yeah it's used for so many different things whether it's electronics the technological era we're advancing in they're making new uses for silver making it 40 percent stronger without without losing any electrical conductivity it's used for the photo photovoltaic cells silver nanoparticles colloidal silver laptops cell phones you know mirrors dental alloys space equipment solar panels um, it purifies water there's so many things and I'm actually thinking about making a video series talking about all the different uses that silver has you know I think that'd be really cool to really educate you guys on what silver is used for in the world and why it has so much fundamental value but anyways you know the look at it from a global scale we're not even just talking about America America. You know, demand is not only from the silver stackers and the people that are buying the bullion from it, but silver is an asset. It's not just a commodity. And until people realize that it's more than just a commodity, you're not going to realize how much the demand is going to be affected. Yes, if silver is just used for bullion coins, then yes, the circulation or whatever we have could be remelted and, you know, re-scrapped. But a lot of silver is actually being lost. You have to think about that as well. A lot of gold is remelted. A lot of people turn in their jewelry, their necklaces, their rings, whatever the case is. But silver, on the other hand, used in so many laptops, cell phones, it's not being recovered. It's being lost in all these technology, all, all these devices when they get scrapped, not to be recovered because it's not as profitable. So a lot of it isn't actually being remelted at the rate gold is. So the gold to silver ratio is actually much lower than people realize. So the demand in, being in circulation, there has to be something to, something has to change sooner than later because if we do get to a point where an entire on on a global scale if demand isn't going to meet supply this is going to be drastic drastic changes in not only the prices of the market for silver but also the the entire technology the, the technology companies our retail value our prices for the consumer product you know the production value for these places these companies to be building these things is going to be shooting the price up because think about this as well even if silver does reach a hundred dollars five hundred dollars whatever you want to say you know not saying it's going to re be that but for the for the, for the point of this example let's say silver's five hundred dollars it, it just exploded out of nowhere 
think about this. These companies that use silver still have to pay that price because without silver, it, the, the, the gadgets aren't, aren't going to be performing any, anywhere near as, as you know, productive or you know, as useful as they will be. Silver is needed. It's not like it's just used out of out of you know. It's just it's just used because it's convenient. No, we need silver. It's the most highly conductive metal for thermal conductivity and electricity. So we need it. We need it on a global scale. So these techno these technology companies, Apple, you know, even Huawei has been fighting this this uh, trying to get into this trade negotiation. You know, this stuff is dangerous waters to be to be really playing in and getting their feet in. So the outcome is going to be extremely detrimental if things aren't starting to change sooner than later. You know, back when our money was backed by gold and silver, times were a lot different. Nowadays, we have many more uses for silver, and we are much more tech technologically advanced as we were back then. So now we have to start switching our perspective on how we view silver. I think a lot of people still view silver as a commodity, as something that doesn't really, that doesn't have many uses. But you have to open up your eyes and see how much potential and see all the opportunity that lies ahead of you. So when I'm looking at silver prices in the next five years, the, there really is no say on where it could go. I mean, there's nothing else in the world that has the opportunity and the, the potential that silver does to blow. And I'm not just saying that from from a silver channel I'm speaking analytically and realistically because look at how many uses that it is look at the gold to silver ratio look at the surplus the look at the supply and demand look at how prices are moved from emotional attachment to these markets and to the industries and to the economy how President Trump could tweet out one thing and boom prices just like that look how prices are moving from US China trade negotiations look at the dollar index and how prices are manipulated off of that look at JP Morgan at manipulating prices look at the Iran Iran tensions, look at the Hong Kong protests. I mean, look at the FOMC meeting. Look at the Federal Reserve cutting interest rates. Look at, there's, I just named probably 15 different things that are all affecting prices on drastic scales. So do you think these things are going to be, going to be, you know, figured out over the next couple years? No, it's going to get worse. The society is getting worse. And not only that, look about, look at, think of the safe haven investment that silver brings f as, as a preservation of wealth against the dollar deflation. That's one of the biggest ones that I left out, and I, I, not even talking about the previous 15 things I just mentioned. The biggest thing I left out is really the main reason you should invest into silver is because the dollar's collapsing. So it's in, it has intrinsic value, and this intrinsic value is what makes silver have this this protection barrier around it. Because yes, the dollar's collapsing, but if you're investing into stocks, you're still pegged to the dollar. Cryptocurrency is a whole other ball game. I'm not going to get into. But if you're investing in the stocks and you're investing in the bonds, options, markets, you're still investing into something that's pegged to a dollar that is burning, that is crashing. The dollar's lost 98% of its purchasing power, and it's not going to be fixed. It's not going to be recovered. So you need to find an alternative. And gold and silver, by far, silver more specifically is that alternative now why not gold well look at the gold to silver ratio it's 85 to 1 which means it takes 85 ounces of silver to equal one ounce of gold and that's very high that's extremely high historically it's around 40 to 1 a quote-unquote high ratio is around 50 to 1 so the ratio still means that silver has to outperform gold it means the gold either has to depreciate or silver has to appreciate and more than likely it's going to be silver appreciating up to gold which means that silver is the better buy that's why so many people invest in silver is because gold isn't that rare silver is actually more rare than gold to some extent if you're looking at how much gold is being dug out of the ground right now compared to silver and how much gold is remelted silver is actually more rare than gold so if you look at the surplus we actually saw a silver shortage earlier this year the th everything adds up just in silver's favor and we're looking at this we're predicting I mean we're, we're analyzing the markets we're looking at the historical data, $50 silver in 2011, what was caused by this early 2000s, Y2K, all the stock market volatility, same type of scenario that's happening now, but on a much larger scale, especially with the 2020 presidential election coming up. So from a global scale, we need things to start changing in silver's favor or very, very interesting and dramatic things, drastic things will be happening soon. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I do appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you did enjoy this video, make 
make sure to smash that like button and subscribe because I do post daily videos. I posted another video today talking about silver's price, what's happening right now with the stock markets. I definitely think you should check that out. It'll be in the top left hand corner if you do want to ch check that out. And if you did already check that video out, click on the top right hand corner video because that's something else I know you guys will enjoy. But anyways, thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe because I am posting daily videos. I will keep you updated on a daily basis what's happening with the freshest, most recent news in the world of precious metals. And it's very important to stay aware and in tune on what's happening because that could highly affect the way you invest your money. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.